Hi, I'm Chris, and this is Real Questions Real Quick, where we answer real questions from you really quick. Question one, is Stranger Things appropriate for a teenager? Appropriate is such a subjective word, so it's hard to say. We don't know this teenager, what they've seen, or what their parents deem as acceptable or appropriate content. And since we do have the freedom to enjoy entertainment, we just need to exercise discernment and good judgment on what we allow into our minds. A great resource for finding out content details is the Parental Guide on IMDb. Go to the show or movie page at imdb.com, then type Parental Guide after the URL. You can also check out PluggedIn.com, a Christian media review site if you want a Christian perspective on media. Question 2. As a teen, is it wrong to have opposite sex friends? Is it possible to remain friends and not become romantic? It is not wrong for young Christians to have friendships with the opposite sex. But as always, we need to be careful to guard ourselves against temptation by setting personal boundaries. Some say the best way to pursue marriage is to have good, meaningful friendships with other Christians instead of worrying about dating immediately. So yes, it is acceptable for young Christians of the opposite gender to be friends. And yes, it is possible to not become romantically involved. Just be careful to avoid making them think you like them if you actually don't, because leading them on can really hurt them and your friendship. Question 3. I've accepted Jesus as my savior. So why don't I feel saved? If you have at one time accepted the gift of salvation through Jesus Christ, then you are saved, period. Even if you later experience doubt, that still won't take away your salvation. People like to put a lot of value in feelings. We make decisions based on our gut and follow our hearts. But salvation is not a feeling, it's a fact. God's word holds real truth. The truth of the Father's sovereignty, the truth of Jesus being on our side, the truth of the Holy Spirit living inside us. All of these things give us hope of eternal glory as new creatures, even if we don't feel it all the time. This has been Real Questions Real Quick. Visit 412teens.org and search for more answers to live spiritual questions, or ask your own. <laughs>